Now this is the next day and we're just going into the cell builder hive now to take out the frame we put in yesterday that they were going to start working on to get the royal jelly. Now what Laura's doing here is the second part of what we're the process and this is now creating a surface for the larvae. Can you see that now? I'll just zoom in so you can see it very carefully. This is called a Chinese grafting tool and that is royal jelly on there. That's the royal jelly that you can get in creams etc which is so so expensive. So we're just going into the cells now and having a look in the cell and pulling out royal jelly and putting some of it into each one of these little cups. This will make it much easier to then transplant the larvae into the cup. And then each one of these cups we're going to put back the frame into the cell builder hive and the bees should then jump on these frames because they're hopelessly queenless jump on the frames and then start to build out the queen cells and develop a series of queens. I mean, the chances are you'll never get all of them take but if you never get half of them take it'll be uh, amazing. We're just looking into the cell now so you can actually see some larvae and you can see the royal jelly sitting in the cell hopefully. And then, if I can get any closer for you, can you see in there? And that's what Laura has been pulling out to put into the queen cups which are just here. And now in each one of these there's a little blob, you might be able to see it, just a little spot of royal jelly. There we go. So now with the Chinese grafting tool, Laura is now trying to find the best larvae we can find to drop into a queen cup. Very difficult, you need a magnifying glass and this tool. There we go. So let's have a look at this, shall Can we? You see? Here we go. There's a let's tiny, tiny just, larvae. It's very small, right on the end. There, can you see that? That's it, and that's going to go into this first cup. And now it's placed in the cup there. Can you just see that? Then it's sitting in there. So that's the first one done. Now we're going to look again into the comb and find the best larvae we can find using the hive tool. Using the grafting tool. Grafting tool, tool sorry. Grafting tool. And then into it, the second cup. I have to be fairly quick with this, it has to be very warm. So we're working in the kitchen at the present time. We've got to keep the temperature to about 30 plus degrees. And then that's going in that one. They're so delicate, if you damage them obviously you, it's no good. These little cups that we're putting them in are called a Jay-Z Beezy and they're just ideal, the right size to make a queen cell. One more to go. Here we go, we're looking now for the last one. All has to be fairly quick because of temperature. 
Yeah. That's a very small one. And into the last cup. That's it. So they're now all in there. We've now got to keep them really warm. And they're now in the cups. And stop them from drying out. So here we are, there's thousands of bees in here, we're now going to turn this very carefully upside down and we're going to place this into the hive and then all the bees should absolutely dive on this and create some amazing, or hopefully amazing, queen cells. So there they go, they're in there now and we're going to put the pollen pate on the top of them. like so and we'll just have to push it down just to make sure there you go girls and that gives them plenty of pollen now to help them and they're already working on one of the cells, just as I put the lid back on. So we're just feeding them with some honey we've got left over and we've added water to that. And we're going to top this up in a minute because what they need is they need absolute nutrition like the pollen patty and this honey syrup to get them to draw out the queen cells as quickly as they can. Can you see them also in the cap? Can you actually see them here, look? Going over the top, they come up through the crown board, through the hole in the middle, and then they're going down by the side and they're helping themselves to the honey syrup, which is their own, basically two to one. 